Well, too bad I could not use this on my setup. It would be a nice uh, addition to my collection. But my uh, lower block or short block is already built. And I also wanted a, a little bit of a high compression ratio. And also, I mean, that's the reason why I modified the piston because I don't want that thing to be past the block. And yeah, uh, but this one is going overseas. Uh, a friend of mine wants to uh, to use it on a uh, H23A1 non VTEC block. And I told him that this would be a good addition. Be much better than using a piston from H22A4. Yeah. So, perfect. Well, hello everyone welcome back to the channel uh, this is something a uh, short uh, video I just wanted to uh, share some information I finally got a hold or got a hand on one of these the blue top piston PCFO or zero yeah I saw one at the junkyard and uh, I thought I pulled it out and uh, it might come handy and uh, lucky for me I just I know the information on this one is been covered on the internet before a long time ago but like I said I never had or I never get a hold on one of these before and uh, I thought it was a good idea to share it to you guys since remember I have a stroker motor I'm using H22A4 with FRM sleeve on it and I'm using a F23 internals and also a piston is from a H22A4. Remember the, the one that I modified that I showed you that it doesn't stick out past the block. But I did some calculations on this one, some wrap measurement and I learned to find out that I'm not too sure but I think this also have a 31 millimeter piston height because when I uh, compare it to uh, to one of the uh, F23 piston it should it it uh, it sticks out farther so let me uh, put it together here Yeah, put it side by side like this. See, right here. Yeah, it's still the uh, stick out path farther than the F23 piston. Yeah. So it's almost the same as H22A4. But what makes it unique is it has a offset the wrist pin is offset just like an F23 just like this one let me put the piston on there I know some of you guys already know but uh, some it's not I didn't <laughs> I didn't know it that he has an offset and for me it's a good find I mean so I think it's a uh, a good uh, piece of information that I uh, must pass down. Um, yeah, as you can see, it has a uh, an offset towards the intake. There, it's towards here. This is the intake. There. And I must say, this would be more like the ultimate uh, best piston to use rather than H22A4, it's because of the offset. It's the same as F23 and it's in the correct side and you don't have to flip this if you wanna use it. And also what makes it unique is it's Honda OE 
compatible with the FRM sleeve on H22A4. So this would be perfect. Yeah, if you think about it, if you are going to use H22A4, this will stick out past the block anyway. So why not use this one and take advantage of the uh, offset? Ensure the offset will help as far as the piston slap having a 97 millimeter throw in it. I mean, it designed to help out to reduce some stress on the wall, on the cylinder walls, together with the skirt. Too bad I could not use this on my setup. It's because I, well, that's already uh, almost ready to go. And also I wanted to have a little bit of a high compression. Um, I would not be surprised if you would get the same compression ratio as the uh, K20, probably in the 11 also. So if you ever find one of these on eBay or uh, Facebook marketplace, yeah. Especially if you are piecing uh, a parts that to build your yourself a stroker be perfect yeah I'm amazed myself <laughs> that's good to know that's just about it for this video and hopefully this will help you guys out thanks a lot everyone I'll see you guys back oh my uh, cylinder head is coming along and uh, I'll find a little bit of uh, something leaking on when I put some fluid but I think uh, you're allowed so much and but what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna hit it again I'm gonna lap it again and then I'll start from there and I'm gonna slap this on and this will be a separate blog and that's coming up next I'm gonna show you how you guys uh, repair those all right well thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys back all right bye bye Again, this is a H23A blue top piston, PCF0. Well, the last video that you guys saw, me lapping the valve. So I got all the spring and retainers put on together. So I'm just checking to make sure that it holds a I'm making sure that it doesn't uh, or it's fully sealed or something or at least somewhat okay well it looks like it's look looking pretty good okay Remember in the combustion chamber, this thing is going on and off in milliseconds, man, in thousands of a second. And the air is pushing the valve close. So I think uh, I say I did pretty good. Yeah, there's some leak a little bit, but uh, this, thing, this one is okay. What can I say? It doesn't go down really quick, so I say it's good. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put the uh, 
Bob trained together. 